，祝大家兔年平安健康，过吃不胖，有钱还有钱。In Surya there's a saying, Jin Chang Men Yin Shu Men, literally Go Chang Gate, Silk Shu Gate, referring to the two busiest business hubs of ancient Suzhou. Both are located in the west of the city. This is Shu Men. Let us now switch to Chang Men, which is about two and a half clicks away, and which I introduced in the last episode. Right outside Chang Gate is Shantang River. Here you can see the wharf at one end of said waterway. The esplanade running along Shantang River is here, Shantang Street. What Wall Street is to NYC and what Lombard Street is to London is what Shantang Street was to ancient Suzhou. Being a center of commerce, the thoroughfare was lined in a high density of guild halls, some of which still partially stand today. Take for instance the Shanxi Guild Hall, which has been repurposed into a school. But no kids today because it's winter break. Uh, I remember one of my viewers said that he or she studied here uh, back in the days. If you're watching this, hit that like. Said school was previously located here at the nearby former Lingnan Guild Hall. Currently, the structure houses a shop slash exhibition hall slash hotel complex revolving around silk as its central theme. Silk was arguably the most coveted product of ancient Suzhou, and silk was the main driver that transformed Suzhou into one of the biggest business behemoths and top taxpayers in the country during parts of the Ming Dynasty, sometimes accounting for one-tenth of national tax revenue. Guild halls were so numerous, a museum has been built to tell their tales, the building of which is the former guild hall of Qingzhou. According to some sources, uh, the Suzhou of Ming and Qing dynasties was home to over 90 business organizations, including guild halls and later trade associations, uh, more in total number and variety than anywhere else in the country. Qing dynasty scholar Hang Shijun remarked, uh, guild halls were conceived in Beijing, uh, then spread to major cities and reached development pinnacle in Wutang. Wu is an ancient name and a current abbreviation of Suzhou, and Chang is here. Changmen trade flourished in the area predominantly due to the transportation advantage of fortified its strategic position in proximity to multiple rivers, where the wharf I showed earlier is located. Perhaps coincidentally, also in close proximity, within walking distance, is the cafeteria turned restaurant of a transportation vocational college. And also coincidentally, the restaurant's cheerful name, Xiao Huan Xi, literally Little Joy, coincides with the recent celebratory atmosphere, which I will get to in a minute after we sit down and place our order. A signature here is the duck dish Xiang Shu Ya, but let's not get that because I already had ducks in the last episode. No, let me rephrase that. Uh, we will have ducks tonight, but not ordering a duck dish per se, because what I'm getting is called San Jianzi, roughly meaning three piece set, 
and the duck is only one of the pieces alongside chicken and fresh ham pot. Yep, all three together. How big of a pot would you need for that? This is how big a pot you would need. Got the chicken, the duck, and the fresh ham pot. No, it's not just big, it's epic. This puts the epic in Epicurean. It's epic enough for an entire family. Which is why the San Dianzi is well suited for gatherings. For instance, Spring Festival celebration. Spring Festival, aka Chinese New Year, is just around the corner. And the San Dianzi is often the centerpiece on the dining table in Suzhou households during this holiday season. That's an extra large version called 5 piece set. That's even an extra extra large 7 piece set. Guess what other ingredients are included? I'll leave the answer in the description section below. For those who need really big pots, well, this traitor of a pot is already a little bit hot. You're gonna need a pretty big cup to take this home. Yeah, this soup is super. Think I get home, I'm gonna make uh, a noodle soup out of this. And I can imagine this being a really solid soup base for homemade hot pot. I think um, things like meatball and egg wrap dumpling uh, and Chinese cabbage will cook well in this hot pot. Mm. The soup is really clear and it tastes clean. By that I mean no gaminess, no weird odor, etc. But the flavor is also much more powerful than you think. Are trying to meet? So this is the ham hock. It came off rather effortlessly. This is quite a feat because you can notice that all three pieces have retained their shapes. We get somewhat soft the bone tenderness, but the three pieces haven't fallen apart on their own. Outcome of meticulous meat cooking. The conundrum here is that if you want the soup, uh, you probably need um, a long time to cook the flavor compounds from the ingredients. Um, so in this regard, the longer you cook, the better. But longer is not always better if you want to eat the ingredients, particularly the meat, because you don't want to overcook them. So you can get both good soup and good meat without immaculate timing and temperature. Some shops might go so far as to replace water with consomme. This way you won't have to worry about balancing between uh, perfect timing for tender meats and prolonged cooking for uh, flavorful broth. Of course, the consomme would become more flavorful uh, as it picks up some of the essences from the ingredients uh, being cooked in it. And I also know that some of the more uh, particular restaurants would steam rather than boil um, the soup, uh, which would produce an even clearer broth. Obviously, the San Dianzi uh, requires a lot of time and a lot of preparation ahead of time, which is why normally it is necessary to order in advance. When you come see the real beautiful China, uh, if you come to Suzhou uh, during this time of the year and looking for something unique and epic, remember to call and 
cook a spectacular special food. And if you have a、um, sufficiently sizable and hungry party, may I also suggest、uh, ordering、uh, some symbolically auspicious food to you know, go with the、uh, festive atmosphere. Um, first and foremost, the fish,、uh, the bao yu fried fish, will be nice.、Um, also, consider、uh, bean sprout dishes、um, or the、uh, sweet egg treasure rice,、uh, which I already ate a few days ago at home.、Uh, they would make quite a feast. Spring festival is around the corner, and I would like to take this chance to express my gratitude. To all of you watching this video right now, I wish everybody a happy year of the rabbit. 祝大家兔年平安健康，过吃不胖，有钱还有钱。再见。